Welcome to a solo talk of adventure, and today we're stepping out of our comfort zone, exploring a new side of Tarkov that I've never attempted before, the cultists. Classed as a boss but more comparable to the aimbot of Labs Raiders, these cultists have absolutely no footsteps, and considering they only spawn between 10pm and 7am, no footsteps, pitch black, and a man chasing you with a knife that poisons you is simply just classed as a horror game. Wait, I have night visions. I forgot. Bro, I ran this whole way without even using them. To be fair, they don't even- Oh my. Oh my- God, never mind. Well, not use night visions. What the hell is that? Either way, there are three maps that these cultists can spawn in. Customs, Shoreline, and Woods. In which we will attempt to hunt and kill them in each one of those maps. Which lands us where we currently are. In Woods. Bro, Woods nighttime in the snow with a flashlight is so spooky. It's actually creepy. If I get shanked, I'm gonna scream. I can tell you that. If I get shanked... Oh, I need an antidote. The girl I'm stim. I do not like this. When you get stabbed by the cultists, you get infected by an unknown toxin. This is a poison that removes 5 health per second from your PMC, giving you only 88 seconds to live. But the only way to remove this is to pop the XTG12 antidote injector, which unsurprisingly, I forgot to bring. But they're not there, so we'll go to the next location which is on the complete opposite side of the map. And then guess what? Since I have, since I have outskirts, I have to run all the way to the top, then all the way back down. But we're gonna go either way. It is what it is. We gotta go check. There are three locations in woods that can spawn the cultists. So far, I have checked two, but found nothing. As we headed up to the third, I made a fatal flaw that I failed to recognize. One that would stick to me for not only this raid, but a couple more to come. Man, I don't want to have my flashlight on because I don't want to be a beacon. Like a light beacon. Begging for people to like, you know, come kill me. It's basically just saying, hey, I'm over here. Come shoot me. But then I also want it on because I hate this. <laughs> and this is scary. And I feel like I'm about to get jumped at every second. Am I on the edge of the map? Where am I? Wait, I'm here. Already? This is where they can spawn. In this area. They get these buildings? As you can see, I had gone to the wrong location, but with my lack of knowledge of the woods map, I didn't notice this and just accepted that I was in the right place. So, I began searching for the cultists, but since I was in the wrong location, it was impossible for them to spawn here, and it was pretty much just a waste of time. The scope is just gg I need to use a different scope. I don't think they're here. It doesn't look like they are here. I'll check the back here. The dead scav? Or is it a cultist? Just a scav. It might be already too early. 5 a.m. I think it is it 5 a.m. that they uh if they were in the raid, do they just poof though? You know, if they are if they did spawn in this raid since it was nighttime, and then it hits like the time where they're not meant to be around. Do they just vanish? It seems like it's over. Our first raid is unsuccessful. Yeah, they're not here. I, I checked everything. According to the wiki, they should just spawn. Like, I pretty much checked the whole circle that they should spawn in. And they would have, like, spotted me, at least, before I spotted them, most likely. So, we'll just, we'll just go. We go outskirts all the way back down the way we came up. Lovely days. But as we were making our way over to the outskirts extract, we came across another problem. Guess we're not making it to the extract. But since it was still before 7am in the morning, I still had a little bit of time to squeeze in another raid. Wait, so we still have time. We gotta go quick. We gotta go quick. But this next raid wasn't any luckier. With the first two spawn locations of the cultists being empty, I headed to where I was last time, the little town that was actually the wrong location. But things turned out differently this time, and honestly, since I was heading to the wrong location anyways, all it did was save me some time. Please don't. Where are you? There you are. 
Well, the other spawn for it is to the left down the road here, where the sniping is coming from. I don't think it's there. I would be able to. So, it was now past 7 in the morning, meaning that the cultists can no longer spawn. Since there are two times in Tarkov, the other one is 7 at night, but the cultists spawn at 10. To use this time up, I thought it'd be a good idea to practice on some raiders in D2, reserve. But in reality, what happened is one of those memorable Tarkov moments that will stick with me forever. Damn, actually not bad. Wait, I can get down from like here. I think I'm going the right way. Just like Woods, my knowledge of reserve outside the D2 extract camping area is not specifically bad, but very basic. I'm literally the first one. Is that a raider? What? I don't think that was a raider. Oh my god, it wasn't. A level 41, holy crap, that was fast. Well, someone's down here. Lovely days. There's a guy right next to me. It's over. Oh, it could be the raiders that spawned in. It could also be a PMC. I don't think a, a PMC, would, uh, a raider would just, like, randomly ADS, you know? Hello? Hi. I have not killed the raiders yet, no. Wait, what's your level? I'm level 24. Holy shit, you're level 24. What you doing down here? You want to you want to kill raiders? Uh, yeah. I am actually here just to kill raiders. Have you pulled the power up? I have. You wanna fight or you wanna team up? I mean, we can team up, that'd be kinda cool. You're not gonna shoot me? Oh, that's not me. Yeah, that's not me. Are those raiders shooting you or? Yeah, I know it's me. I know. You can come and do him. I will not shoot you. Try. I can try to get to you. I'm not really that great at navigating D2. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, he went completely silent. Where are you? Hello, friend. Are you alive? Hello? What happened? Hello? Why is he gone silent? Hello? Hey. Oh, I can hear you again. <laughs> I couldn't hear you. Alright, uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. This me. Oh! Is that you? That's, yeah, 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 yeah. They're down the end. We can kill them, no? Okay, okay. Jesus, he is strong. That's all good, I don't I don't need it. What the hell? We're gonna get flanked. I can hold the flank up here. Take this. Hey! Push back! Down down the end! Hey! Why are you shooting? That is not bad. That is really nice actually. Actual rare moment in Tarkov where you make a friend? Insane. I swear this really happens. Uh, I killed him at the stairs. You killed him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a legend. <laughs> thank you, thank you, man. I did something. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Was there only two or? Yeah, the guy. Basically, the. Basically, the both solos, dude, so. Ah, I see. What level are you? 45. Jesus Christ, okay, I see. Yeah, um, basically 12 tasks to Kappa, dude. Oh my god. So, with our new friend and the player that we killed, we went over to go loot the body. Here. Damn. Damn, son, you ran. Oh, he is chonked. Yeah, he has a complete meta M4. Uh, let me. Boom, boom, boom. I cannot hold the K. I got him. Play the game at the same time. That is impossible. Bro, has I got him tea bag though? What the hell? I was here to just kill raiders to practice uh, for killing cultists because I'm trying to hunt them right now just for fun. But uh, yeah, it wasn't night time on any other time, so I was like, I'll just come try kill raiders for practice because they're kind of the same. Sadly, there were no raiders left to be found in this raid. 
but with two PMC kills, I was pretty satisfied with the loot that I had on me. So together, me and my friend made our way over to the D2 extract, learning a few things about each other along the way. How many times have you been extract camp D2 this wipe? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I, I lit like, let's say out of 10 raids, 8 times. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's insane, dude. So finally, we both made it over safely to the D2 extract and ended off the successful raid. Which also means that it's now turning nighttime and we'd have to return back to woods. To say that hunting these cultists would be any easy adventure would just be straight up false, because it felt like no matter how many times I went to their spawn locations, they were never there. But it's not like I could just give up. This is not the right village. It's not, because the car extract is here. Oh my god, wait. I've been- oh my god, no. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb. I've been searching the wrong village. It's not this one, it's the one way along- It's the god I'm- the like, absolutely de destroyed wooden one. That makes way more sense. I mean, it got to the point where I didn't even care about actually killing them. But all I wanted was just to see them. Even if it ended up with me dying to them. Found it. Yep, cool, they're not here. I'm dipping. Screw that. So, we kept going. And going. And going. Because surely, we'd find them eventually, right? Oh my god, I forgot I have a Vepper Hunter. I have 10 bullets. There he goes. Bro, I thought I had an SKS, I forgot. I forgot I had a Pepper Hunter. I was like, yeah, I got, I got a bunch more bullets, I can just spam this. And it clicked. He's a Timmy though. Man, I should have just left him. I should have spared him, I can't lie. And hey, next time we see a Timmy on woods, we're sparing him. It doesn't seem like they're here though. Yeah, it's right there. They should just be like surrounding it. Not exactly on it, but they should have aggroed on me by now. Oh my god. Bro, those scabs had me thinking it was them. I don't think they're here. Damn, these are so hard to find. And so naturally, I started making my way over to the extract. Crap, there's a laser! Oh, it's Jover! What is that? Is that them? I think that's them. No, they, they make footsteps. Those are PMCs. Are they hunting? Yeah. Man. I just wanna see them, man. I don't care if I die to them at this point. I just wanna see them. I literally just wanna see them with my eyes, that's it. With yet again another raid into woods, my hope on finding these cultists was degrading extremely quickly. Oh, bro. And the amount of rubles my stash was tanking was starting to come into effect. So far, we're currently down 2 million rubles. Another problem we'd have to overcome in order to keep this cultist hunting adventure sustainable. Are these things real? Do they exist? Is this, is this just like a myth that cultists exist? But just as I thought things were over, on the fifth raid of searching for the cultists, this happened. Oh my god! Well boys! I think we found them. I think we found them. Holy crap, they absolutely lasered me. I killed one and I got executed instantly. Well, the radius where they can spawn is way bigger than I thought it was. Hey, look, that's a good sign. <sighs> so, even though we died, I at least confirmed that they did actually exist. But as the sun started to rise, we'd have to wait until the night to come again. A perfect time to make some money to make up for the losses we've had today. Oh my god, this is perfect bro. When making money in Tarkov, the two main things I look for is how much you can make per run and also your survival rate. Because sure, I could make 2 million rubles in a single run playing streets, but how consistent would I be at actually surviving? Which is the reason I am in the interchange with Goshen being able to spawn quite the amount of technical items whilst also being a fairly low traffic area. This is obviously a case by case thing as you may find woods super easy to loot, navigate and survive, 
but absolutely despise Interchange. But for me, Interchange is basically my home. So this is where I chose to take a little break from hunting cultists and make a little bit of money. So, it has once again turned night, and we are back into woods, hunting for yet again, the cultists. With how long it took me to find them last time, I kinda had a rough estimate in how long it would take me to find them again, but this time was different. Cause no matter how many times I went back, they were simply just never there. Things you can kinda hear them, they don't, they don't make footsteps, but you can hear them switch to their knife. That's how I noticed it uh, last time. Oh, GG to this raid, no cultists again. 10% is way too low, man. But I kept going back, over and over and over again. Yeah, no, they aren't here. I would've found them by now. To be fair, when they are here, they aren't that hard to find. GG's for cultists, though. Okay, now, now I've got a night vision is actually useful. How do people find them on, like, actually kill them and list their knives on the flea like what what kind of maniac are you to find cultists kill them and put them on flea ggs no cultists wow we made it back yeah i guess we're just xp farming at this point <laughs> it's like 2k xp per raid <sighs> i need to find these one with my rubles actively decreasing, I'm slowly starting to get more and more demotivated. We are currently down to 4 million rubles, which is a lot until you realize that I started at 8. What is that? Bro got dropped. Ah, <laughs> uh, GG's. I swear it's always my left arm that gets taken, well it's actually my right, but yeah. One of my arms I guess taken first. You are in the middle of the road. That is begging to be killed. Oh, hello. Damn. Is this guy cultist hunting as well? Oh my god. You want a bigger bag, my guy? A grizzly, which is better than mine. Thank you. And a three out of 50 Aquamary. Man, uh, let me just get that out of my inventory. <laughs> oh, crap. We're here. And I don't think there's cultists here. For the billionth goddamn time, bro. No cultists. Just stab me. Honestly, just stab me. But even through all the losses, I still came back, using all that I had left in my stash. But anytime I'd get shot at by a suppressor, I'd automatically think that it was them. What is that? No, that's- bro. Oh my god, no, 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 screw you, screw you, oh my god, my leg is gone, and my arm is gone, and my everything is gone, it's over. And so we went back one final time, and taking off my night vision, I could see that it was day, meaning that our time hunting the cultists tonight was over. Yep, looks like they're not here, once again, <sighs> man, GG's. It's time to go and make some money. So as we began our first streets scav run, we hit the jackpot almost instantly. Okay, so we're chunked. Is this the boss? What does the boss wear? Oh my god, you are kind of crazy with it. And just as I thought things couldn't get any better, we found the legendary salty dog beef sausage. So <gasps> Is that a salty dog beef sausage? I will shoot a scab for the sausage. Extracting from this raid, we finally completed the task, the delicious sausage. Hello? I'm a scav, man. What are you? It's not a scav. So, heading into a PMC interchange raid this time, we got pretty lucky with a kill on a PMC that pretty much had no chance against me. 
So, we waited to see if he had any friends, but luckily he didn't, so we headed over to the body to see what he had. Which wasn't anything crazy, but nothing bad at the same time, so once we looted that, we headed into the back of Goshen, and... Things didn't go to plan, but that's okay because our scav was back up and with 35,000 rubles to use, we paid for a nice and safe trip over to the construction site. Upon arriving, we looted everything that was possible and left through the sewer manhole extract. Finally, one successful scav raid. Hello. My care package has arrived. Hello. We can check uh, the little room here in Concordia and then leave the sewer manhole. Maybe get like a big coin, please. Ooh. Yeah, it's unlooted. Cool. Get me out of this raid. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. And this marks the end to the money farming section of this adventure. We made it just in time. It just turned 10. As you can see, we are no longer in woods. And to be honest, that's because I simply just gave up. We gotta go to Fortress. Honestly, now that I like actually look at the map and realize how dark it is, I kind of regret not bringing uh, night visions. It would be kind of nice, I can't lie. Can I go through here? No. Wait, how do I... Is that really the only way through? That's crazy. It's a little bit dark, I can't lie. I'm gonna get sniped if I go that way. Yeah, I'd like night visions next. What the? Bro, I thought it was a guy right next to me. Oh, he fell. Hello, free sniper? Oh, never mind. I got night visions. I don't need to- I don't need to go into a new raid to get night visions, bro. Just kill the sniper scav. Since when do they run night visions? That's so nice. Can I- Is that a PMC? PMC? Not a PMC, right? There's no way he wouldn't have heard me. Yeah. I hear shots towards fortress. I feel like my- my kills are being stolen here. I think the competition we're gonna have to actually kill uh, kill these cultists in customs is gonna be way higher than woods. There's a guy like right here. Ooh. And what was that? That light on my gun is tripping me, I can't lie. Why are there so many people around this area? I didn't bring the antidote again. I keep taking it out when I do other stuff and then I just never put it back in. There's people in Fortress. I don't know, I feel like they're here, the cultists. There's way too many shots in Fortress. Like, it just makes sense. Why do I still have my BCP FMJ for my RFP? I gotta brought more bullets. Actually griefing, bro. What is that? Man, the Fortress is so bright. I'm gonna shoot out the lights to make it easier for me. Otherwise, that is absolutely blinding. We go in. There's so many people. I think it's a duo, maybe a trio. They're really quiet. They are not moving at all. And that was a very unique scav voice line, one that I've never heard before, making me realize that this might not be any normal scav. Wait, is it cultists? No, but why would they shoot like a scav? Do cultists shoot scavs? But the only way to find out would be to go and check. What is that? Yeah, that's definitely not a regular scav. Okay, there's nades. There's PMCs here now. He's running outside. 
Crap, I'm in a bad position. He's looting. But as we waited, and waited, and waited, the sounds of the PMC's movements eventually went quiet, until it was completely silent, with just me left alone in fortress with a bunch of dead bodies. That's not a goddamn. Uh, that's not a cultist. It's a Rashala guard? Is this a Rashala guard? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, no, wait. I think. Wait, Rashala was here, no? This looks like Rashala stuff, like Rashala guard stuff. Oh. The dead body of Rashala, confirming that the cultists weren't here. Damn, bro. So that's why he was here. He was on this side looting Rashala the whole time. I should have just pushed it. That's that's what that was all of the shots as well. He would have never pushed towards me. That makes way more sense. I mean Oh, this is a PMC. Didn't even notice. Well we found a dead PMC. Died to Rashala, probably. I can check. He died too. Killed by is that one of the guards? I don't know. I'll take your gun, I'll take your headphones, and I'll take your rig. Honestly, oh, I can just take everything. What? Holy Jesus. I'm no longer gonna use night vision. That is horrible. The green is too green. I can use this though. M80s? I am. So. With no cultist to be found at Fortress, we made our way over to the roadblock extract, heading out with all that remained from the PMCs who fought Rashala, and hoping that we wouldn't have to go through the same suffering as we just did in Woods. Ooh! So this thing has recoil. So far from this raid, I can already tell that Customs is definitely going to be a lot more PvP heavy than Woods. But honestly, I'd rather have a little bit of action than just running around for 10 minutes and having absolutely nothing happen, even if that action ended up to my death. So, as the deaths rolled in, I started to get a feeling that this would just end up like Woods did, but luckily... That didn't happen. Oh my god! Bro! Oh my god, my HP. Oh my god. He literally turned me into a nugget. I'm nothing but a thorax. A thorax, a head, and an arm. <laughs> what? I need to get my stomach back quickly before I start kind of losing all my food. I need to move from here though. Wait a minute. There's a guy. I'm screwed. Oh my god, he threw a nade. Did he? He did. Wait. Oh my god, I didn't bring... The one time I didn't bring a goddamn Serve 12 kit or a CMS. Oh my god, it's over. I need to leave. With no way of healing my blacked legs, stomach, or arm, I went over to loot the body to hope that he had a CMS kit on him. Because without being able to heal my stomach, we would starve to death. But with no CMS kit found on him, the only thing we could do was run for the extract. Which, luckily, was a very easy and straightforward process. So we headed back into another raid, and this time, we made it to Fortress. But the only question was, were the cultists here?
So, this would be the time we finally find and kill the cultists. After struggling in woods for days upon days, we gave up and moved onto customs. And with a few raids being pretty unlucky, it would just be natural to finally see them soon. But as much as I wanted that to happen for the sake of this adventure and storyline, finding them just never happened. See, I ran customs over and over and over again, but in all the runs I did, I never once came across the cultists. I also looked further into it online to find their exact spawn location, which was actually in and beside a small garage next to fortress. This however didn't change anything as I checked that more than 10 times and still found nothing. So this is the current state I'm in, having to consistently run scav runs to be able to fund the kits needed to continue the hunt, or just simply give up. But with some things such as this, I'm already too deep into it to back out. It's like the whole story is placed down already and I'm just edging to complete the story. Cause all I'd need to do is have one single raid just to fight them. So as the grind continues, all I could hope is for things to get better. Or at least to simply just see the cultists. Searching for these cultists on customs was going to be far more tedious than I had initially imagined. See, even with the 10% chance to spawn, it feels more like a 1%, but along the way came some unexpected encounters that I had to deal with. I nearly just got executed. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be possible to loot. What? <coughs> what is going on? I need a heal. Oh! I am hurt. Oh my god, bro, that guy was so chonked. But then again, I am so lucky to be alive right now. That bullet landed right next to me. Holy crap. And I forgot to bring a survival kit. Oh my god, I'm screwed. I just gotta go. I just gotta dip. How much ammo? Fewer than half. And I don't have this mag. Crap. That's like probably, I don't know, eight or seven bullets. It's probably better if I just hold this. We got his, uh, I mean, one of his guns anyways. He was, he had two, bro. He must have killed someone. He's chased me. Wait, he's followed me all the way here. This is like kind of long range. He's dead. Was that him? I mean, that's someone. Wait, I need to go loot that. He chased me all the way here. That must have been my last bullet. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna drop this here. Come back for it. There's no bullets in it anyways. Oh, hello. I can't believe he chased me all that way, bro. I mean, it could not be the same guy, so I could be dead here to that sniper guy, but whoever this was, he must have been watching me. Where is he, like, just on this side of the train track? Oh my god, he looks chonked. This was tough. It's been five days since I started this challenge, and we still haven't killed the cultists yet. And honestly, I don't think I'll be able to do this for much longer. But one thing that I've learned from being forced to run nighttime raids is that the loot is absolutely insane. OK, 
Okay, I just killed a guy. Where was this guy? Oh my god, that is bright. Oh my god! A meta HK and a gen 4 assault. Pretty much an endgame kit. He must have died to that guy. Oh. oh my god. So we're chonked? What the hell is that? There's the other guy I killed too. I need to go inside. How do I get in? The only way is like way over here. And then we have to go all the way to roadblock? Oh my god. There's a pretty good chance there's another one of uh, this guy. Did I even kill him? Yeah, I did. He's right here. What do you have? So, with yet again another really expensive kit, we now have well over a million rubles worth of gear on us. I am 54 kg. Do I even regen stam? I don't. Okay, wait. I need to get rid of some stuff then. I am not running without being able to regen stam. Well. Oh. Okay, now I can. It's a meta HK, bro. Nothing gets better than this. Like, what? I'm gonna use this. I feel more confident with it. So, with the loot that I had on me, it was time to start my journey over to the roadblock extract. Bro, I am so slow. I hate moving through this area of uh, customs. It's like, oh my god, someone's in fortress. Was that fortress? I can't tell. Maybe it was a bit further. Oh, it's pretty much day. What? Well, GG's. We are absolutely chonked, bro. Oh my god, that's insane. I failed. I failed to not only kill the cultists in the single chance that I had, but I failed to even find them. And to be honest, I expected this to be way easier than it turned out to be. See, when looking into the cultists before I started to record this video, the 10% chance of their spawn looked fine, because to me, 1 out of 10 raids wasn't that great, but it was definitely doable. And so I tried, and I tried, and I tried. A week's worth of hunting to end with nothing. 300 gigabytes of footage and dozens of raids. So do I recommend you hunt the cultists? Well, that's for you to decide. But definitely take my experience as, I'd say the worst case scenario. At the end of the day, at least I can say that I tried. And I tried my best.